in a conversation with President Xi Jinping of China, Prime Minister highlighted India's concerns on the unresolved issues along the LAC in the western sector of the India-China border areas. Prime Minister underlined that the maintenance of peace and tranquility in the border areas and observing and respecting the LAC are essential for the normalization of the India-China relationship. In this regard, the two leaders agreed to direct their relevant officials to intensify efforts at expeditious disengagement and de-escalation. After a long gap, uh, finally, there had been some uh, you know, conversation between Indian Prime Minister Modi and China President Xi Jinping on the sidelines of big summit level talks. This is what uh, was told by Foreign Secretary Vinay Quatra that the leaders did uh, meet and they had a conversation. Uh, the conversation was in-depth and candid. This is what the Chinese side has said. Then they mentioned what uh, all was discussed. The Chinese side uh, mentions that uh, the two leaders discussed about the bilateral relationship and uh, China, India uh, and other questions of interest also. Uh, President Xi has interest that improving relationship serves the common interest of both the countries uh, and is also conducive to peace, stability and development of the world and the region. Uh, and the two sides should bear in mind the overall interest of their bilateral relationship and handle properly the border issues so as to jointly safeguard peace and tranquility in the border region. So this is uh, where uh, there has been some difference with what Foreign Secretary Vinay Quatra yesterday said that Prime Minister Modi mentioned about the border dispute and uh, deployment and the tension that has been going on in the western uh, Ladakh sector. Uh, and they and uh, while Prime Minister Modi has mentioned all that, Chinese side is trying to avoid to talk directly the issue of border tension. They want to say it as a as a history as a as an issue of history and legacy that will take its own time to get resolved while uh, other aspects of the bilateral relationship should be focused indian side has always maintained that uh, there cannot be normalcy in the bilateral relationship or other aspect of bilateral relationship unless and until there are heavy deployment of uh, troops and armory on the border uh, and, uh, along line of actual control uh, in Ladakh sector, uh, how can that be? In fact, when uh, at one front you are having a very severe, uh, uh, you know, tension going on where the troops are, uh, you know, heavily guarding the, your borders. There is a level of deep uh, distrust, and on the other other hand, you want to have a very normal bilateral relationship, having a good commerce and trade relationship, people to people exchange, cultural exchange. Uh, and direct connect and other uh, regional and global issues that should be discussed between the two leaders. So this is where uh, the Indian point of view has been differing all along uh, that Chinese uh, aggression, aggression has been shown in Galwan uh, where India has lost uh, 20 of its soldiers as well. Uh, so at this time also the discussion uh, to, uh, happened and the Chinese side also mentioned uh, interestingly that the meeting had happened on the uh, you know request of Indian side which is not true because the, there was an already uh, request from the Chinese side which was pending with India and in that context the, uh, the it should be read as uh, you know the Chinese uh, request was clearly uh, given the importance and Prime Minister Modi and Xi Jinping had a talk but uh, nevertheless uh, if, if we dwell deeper into who asked to meet and who to, you know who was the first to call for it the, the positive thing of all the conversation has been that the two leaders have met because until now only the ministerial uh, level talks had been going on because we have seen Excellent Affairs Minister Jai Shankar uh, meeting and engaging with Chinese counterpart uh, Wang Yi. And Mr. Doval had been meeting Wang Yi. And Mr. Doval had recently met weeks ago in Johannesburg with the Chinese uh, uh, foreign minister who also happens to be important person in, in resolving the dis border disputes uh, between India and China right now. So in that context, it is important. Also, it is important because Chinese President Xi Jinping is expected to arrive to take part in G20 meetings in India. And uh, G20 needs to have a common declaration every time uh, the, the annual summit happens. And to have Prime Minister uh, President Xi Jinping on board for all the you know effort to create a consensus among leaders, it was necessary for Prime Minister Modi uh, to have a you know cordial relationship or to uh, have a you know better uh, aspect of uh, India-China uh, talk, in, in, so that the whole issue uh, should be discussed and the bilateral uh, issue should not take the center stage while. Uh, there will be this multilateral common uh, agenda that will be discussed at G20. We have seen that happening happening in, uh, in BRICS also, where India and China did not.
bring their bilateral issue on the center stage and uh, it was it was kind of successful uh brick summit talks where six new members were also included and there are now scope for other members also to be part of the grouping uh, from the next year onwards so uh, then there are issues of de-dollarization common currency currency you know trade in respective currency developmental work so uh, everything happened there uh, with very cordial relation cordial atmosphere and probably that had given some sense uh, for the Indian, in, Indian side also to engage with the Chinese side uh, because China is an important partner in G20 also Chinese president's arrival in India and his presence during the G20 uh, that also needs to be uh, uh, given due importance uh, to have a common declaration that India would like to have uh, because historically it is a practice that G20 comes out with a common declaration on the major aspect of development uh, you know global uh, security regional uh, you know concerns and financial structure of the world order.